everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up channels in TestUp software. Let's open TestUp and go to Configuration tab and press Channels button. In the Channel Settings window we can edit an existing configuration or add a new one. Here we can see the list of all available configurations. On the right side we can see three buttons. They are used for adding, removing or renaming the configuration. Let's create a new configuration, so we press Add button. When adding a new configuration, first we should enter its name. For example, let us call it Test. Now we need to match the system input channels with the corresponding sensors. Now we need to choose the type of the connected sensor. It may be a charge sensor, an APE sensor, we can set up a linear input or choose a TEDS sensor. A TEDS sensor has an embedded memory which stores the results of the latest calibration, for instance its sensitivity. If you select TEDS and it is already connected, the system will read the information from the sensor automatically and the sensitivity will appear in the field. Let's specify linear sensor type. Right here we can enter the sensitivity value. On the right side we can select upper and lower unit for the sensitivity. Now let's add the charge sensor and after that an APE sensor. We can also rename the channel, add information about the channel, set the serial number and enter the last calibration date. Buttons on the right side of the channel are used for setting an external strain gauge amplifier settings or selecting a sensor from the database. I think we will make additional videos about these features. In the bottom of the tab we can select the configuration to be default for the single shaker or multi shaker test. Now we will proceed to set up the system's outputs. Open the Analog Outputs tab. Each output channel can act as control or caller, or you can disable the output if you are not planning to use it in the test. The caller channel type means that the channel is used for providing synchronization with oscilloscope, stroboscope and other devices. We can also give every channel a name to be used in the test settings and graphs. There are two additional types for digital inputs and outputs. They are used for autonomous tests. We have a video on our channel. If you are interested in this feature and want to learn more, we will place a link in the description. Now we can save our configuration and use it in test settings. We enter Sign Test Settings, choose Channels tab and select our configuration. Here you can see our created configuration. Now we can start the test. I hope you've learned something new from this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and press the like button. It will help us to make more videos for the channel. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.